Hey Zalivas, this is Super Zamagar Barbecue, and we have an incredible episode for you today. Trust me, this is one you do not want to miss. This is what I like to call the Dex from Hell or the Nightmare Dex. I have not done an episode like this ever, well, I think since the Gold Dust and Stardust PCC back in Survivor Tier. We're talking back in February, March this last this year. So this is incredible and this is going to be really interesting to watch. What I mean by Nightmare Dex is that we have had the game now, Season 2, released since for a week and no, yeah, about a week and a bit. Um, so we're talking maybe uh, a week and a half now. And we have now a situation where I'm going to be facing people who already have legendary plus plus decks right now. I'm one of those people. I have access to that. But I'm now going to be facing the other people. And we are likely to face three of the toughest people available in Supercard right now. You have what... He, teams actually, he's actually been in Supercard for a while. Um, effectively like a newcomer, but he's actually been in playing for some time um, with um, Bailey. You're probably going to see the legend Monty, and you're going to see the god himself, Jonathan. And when I say god, this guy has almost played as many games as uh, Double D and Remy, if you've ever seen him on leaderboards, have played incredible amounts of games. It, very simply put, uh, this is going to be an episode good to watch because it's going to be me versus the decks from hell. And let's get into it right now. This is just all going to be plus 10s, playing the best decks available in the game and see how many points we get. Um, so first of all, we've got Monty. And Monty's going to be the first person to face with the legend Monty, which is going to be uh, with my team, which is going to be the same all throughout, which is going to be the Rock and Randy Orton, the blue, uh, the blue arrows left and right. And we've also got Triple H and Ryback. Now, you are going to see some cards here that you probably have never seen before, or if you have, it's been completely rare. These are the cards in action. You're going to see some finishers, and believe it or not, epic and legendary cards actually do do the finishers when they hit off their abilities. So this is going to be awesome to watch. Maybe get a little bit of commentary in there. I'm going to be lugging down every win, lose, loss, or draw that I have against each person to tag tally up. Obviously, we're looking for the highest possible. You're going to see some rigged stuff right here. So let's get on. We've got a speed match, and we're going to go straight away with Randy Orton because he procs in speed. Um, thankfully, that's going to be a win. So we're going to have Randy Orton, first of all, with the win, I've got a charisma match, which I have John Cena versus The Rock, but John Cena's going to win with the attitude adjustment. We've got P a uh, power match here. Let's see if we can win. Yes, we're going to win our first game against Monty. So that is two to one. Monty loses to moi. And that is one in the bag. Let's get to the next game. We're going to get our next, hopefully get a pull during this. I'm actually due a legendary pull at some point. Um, who knows if we'll get one. Monty again is coming up as our next next opponent. Literally, it's going to be the first person that shows up. I don't care who it is. Just going to keep going, keep smashing through it. These are the decks from hell. These are the best decks in the game at the moment. And these are the people you want to be avoiding at all costs. First was kind of going to come for speed match again. So I'm going to have the prop from Randy Orton, which means you know what happens here. We are going to see the best move in the wrestling industry. The RKO right there delivered to Brock Lesnar. Charisma again. It's going to be John Cena versus... Oh, look at that. How rigged is that? We're going to have the rock bottom into the people's elbow. That's great. 2 0 mil. I may as well just give up now. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw Triple H in the mix. He's going to Brock again. This is a third Brock. Oh, that's awesome. Brock, by the way, means ability, pedigree. So, three finishes delivered to Monty in one game. That's incredible. It's like finisher city in this, in this place. So, that's game number two under the belt. Feels like I'm BC on Monty. It's literally the first person who shows up. It could be anyone. Uh, we're going to have to wait on network, though, because we're going to see who we get here. We're going to get a Fernando uh, Jack Swagger. Let's keep rolling through. Uh, Monty again. Let's go for a third time. I can't believe I'll be as lucky this time. If it shows up with speed again for the first match, I'm going to think this is, this is rigged. I'm actually surprised his Seth Rollins doesn't show up, first of all. It'd be interesting if it did, because that would be better. Uh, speed again. 
Okay, so it's going to be Brock Lesnar again, so it's going to be another win. Okay, so um, we're going to have a win for Randy Orton against Brock Lesnar. Tough as... Ah, okay, this is where it potentially gets tough, because if I'm right in saying, he has Natalia and he's going to proc, which means he's going to win. Natalia doing her finisher, and we have a charisma match here. John Cena versus The Rock, and it's going to be The Rock winning again with The Rock bottom. And into the people's elbow. He doesn't do the spine buster. I'm surprised by that. I thought he would do the spine buster into the people's elbow. But hey ho. That's another one in the bag against Monty. And let's get another 10 points. That's a speed <laughs> enhancement. And I have a taunt as well. So we got down to two cards on the, on the uh, board. It's Monty again. Okay, let's give Monty a chance. Because I keep going up against it. Ah, here we go. This is the god of supercard, Jonathan, right here. We're going to be having our next match against him. So this is going to be interesting. So Jonathan's the hardest opponent I've got. He doesn't have a, a, a compatible diva tag. But what he does have is a compatible tag inside his team. So we're going to have a speed and charisma match. Which I think I'm going to lose already. Um, yeah, because he's going to proc, and he's also got a... He's leveled up his Eve to be good in speed. We have a Moonsault from Eve. Uh, Diva in speed. I think I'm going to lose this one again, so I have actually lost my first match against Jonathan because the two weakest stats were called my Divas. This, this is what happened. Page with the Rampage there. Toughness, I'm going to go for Ryback, and I'm going to lose because there's no proc there. He's got his Mark Henry on board. Fantastic result for him. Not so fantastic for me. So that's 3 nils, Jonathan. It's just a bad loss after going after Monty. I should have just kept going after Monty. Uh, that's going to be Alicia Fox. So we're going to leave it down to the last board pick. And I guarantee you it's going to be a title match. Uh, Jonathan again. So we're going to play against Jonathan in this match. <coughs> Hope for a little bit more luck this time. A little bit more luck, please. Um, so we're going to have me versus Jonathan. Uh, with his Sasha Banks versus my Undertaker. Uh, power. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. I'm going to put in... Uh, Triple H, and he's gonna proc. Ah, surprise, surprise! The world's strongest slam coming up from Mark Henry. Let's get a charisma tag in here. He's got his double tag. That's he's not used his tag. His AI has not used his tag. Interesting. So it's not used Kofi Kingston. It's not used the right arrow. Power and toughness coming up. I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to win this one or not. Ah, yes, the guy's against his brother, but the AI has completely screwed him because. I would have personally said the, the AI should have used his um, Kofi and his Bray Wyatt. He might have actually had a chance, but no, that's a win for us. We'll take it. Um, pfft, why did it use two right arrows? I have no idea. Usually it completely screws me over and gives me the two fastest people it possibly can. So that's going to be us up to rank 30 again. And we're going to get, I told you, a title match. I told you a title match. It was coming up, and it definitely it was there, waiting for us. Monty again. We're going to have another go at him. This is incredible because these these are the three best decks available in the game right now. Um, if you are up in this level, these are just you do not face anyone else. You face three people, and that is it. So we're going to have a toughest match, and I'm pretty confident I'm going to lose this one already. I did put a little supplement on. Um, but I think he's got an epic taunt, which means it's... Ah, it's a draw. It's a draw between the Divas. Technically, I kind of cheated because I had the, the toughness supplement on there. I'm going to go for a tag. Who should I go for? I'm going to go for Randy and I'm going to go for The Rock, which means it's going to be a win because... Oh, look at that charisma on Rock. Sets off the ability and it's going to be a win because he hasn't got a compatible tag. Toughest and Charisma, this is going to be interesting. He's got his legendary Bree Bella. Um, so, I'm not sure why, but maybe for the compatibility of the tag, I don't know. Um, but that, that's kind of screwed him over. So, that's five wins to one loss. But we had one draw there as well with one match. We've got up to rank 29 in just that one short game. This is incredible. So, let's move into Monty again. So Monty's going to show up for the for that's, uh, fifth time. Fifth time Monty's going to show up. Hopefully we'll see Bailey soon. He's got an awesome deck as well. Um, let's get to... Um, this is the A game um, as such. So we're going to have... Let's use Ryback. 
not going to prop, which means I'm going to lose this game. But Ryback is my is my weakest card. That's one of the things I'm hoping for is to get a good down arrow card. A speed match between two divas. Uh, this should be okay here because he's legend. He's not got an epic pro diva. Um, so the stats are less, so I'm going to win that game there. Toughest and Spin, this is the tough one. Um, I'm going to have to go with um, Randy Orton. It's going to be a proc, which, oh, this is going to be interesting. Do we get an F5? No, we're going to get an RKO, which is another win. Another win against Monty. Wow, 6-1. to one. And that was a demolition job from Jonathan when we lost that one game. Otherwise, we've been quite lucky so far. So this is incredible. Um, wait until I come against Bailey. Bailey will beat me because he always seems to get the ability go the ability far off on every single one of his cards. Um, so oh my God, plus six or a plus ten on Monty. The game just wants me to play Monty. Uh, Jonathan again. Let's play Jonathan again. We, we'll, we'll, Bailey will show up. Um, I, I pretty much guarantee it because he was showing up beforehand when I was just testing out whether the, everyone had put their decks up. Uh, so there we go. We're gonna have Jonathan again. Okay. Uh, power and speed. Now you could go for the rock because rocks technically got better stats. But I'm gonna go for the proc power and speed. Um, hopefully he doesn't then do anything else, and it should be a win. Yes, it is a win for Randy Orton. Uh, power and charisma tag. Um, he's doing two up arrows, which means as long as nothing seriously bad happens, I should win this one. Because let's 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 see and find out. Yep, we're going to win this one. So that's another win in the bag. I'm going to send that right back, see if we can win. That's crazy that Kofi Kingston has more toughness. And that's just that's a sign of good leveling. That's a sign of good leveling. And that's a good job by Jonathan that he's done that. Because that beats right back. And I've, I've maxed out his toughness. So that's a, that's a very good leveling right there. And that shows you the importance. We've actually dropped back down a level to Toyota level 30. And we just got hit the limits of enhancements. So I'm going to segue out. I'm going to get back real soon. So if you like what you see, please remember to throw a people's elbow on the like button below. If we can get 200, that would be amazing, guys. It would be absolutely fantastic. Please, obviously, subscribe as well if you, if you want to see more content. If you want to see more things like this, obviously, comment in the section below. Leave your feedback. It's always welcome from any of you. Let me know what pulls you've got in this PCC because you're amazing. In our next future video after the PCC is finished, I, we are closing in on 6,000 subscribers, which is amazing. If we get to 6,000 subscribers, we are going to have our first ever giveaway. So that is going to be unreal. And we're back with more decks from hell, and I'm going to move straight on. On to Bailey. Now, this is a new guy on the block. He's actually been playing a uh, super card, I believe, since the beginning, if not very shortly afterwards. He actually was doing quite well with the fusions, but he is definitely making a statement on the scene with regards to current, current people uh, with the new game showing up now. And this is going to be interesting because he, again, doesn't have a compatible tag. Like Monty, no compatible tag. But he's very lucky in getting the additional proc that usually just kills me. So hopefully we can get a proc, which not going to, which means his Triple H is going to walk away with the win. In this first match, he's going to get me with the pedigree. Uh, let's see if we can get a power and charisma match with Diva. I think I could do this. No, it's going to proc again. I told you, Bailey procs all the time. So this is going to be a loss for me. Um, we're going to speed and charisma, which is going to get us the win. Um, I've actually had it beforehand where both of his cards procs on attack. Um, and that's actually meant that um, I still lost even though I had a compatible tag, which is just completely crap. But hey, I'm not one to judge. Um, so Bailey's going to beat me 2-1 there. I told you he procs all the time. It's just a, it's a natural thing now. We're actually now down to rank 31 again. I get Goldust there and a Booker T in terms of a pull. Uh, we get Bailey again is going to show up. So hopefully we can get our revenge now. Otherwise our losses are going to start stacking up quite heavily. Uh, so there we go. Uh, we've got uh, Bailey with Emma. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So we're going to have a Charisma match. Now, my Charisma is still better, but it's regardless of the um, the ability, so the uh, support card, I'm still going to win this one. So I should now, and this is where we see if this is completely rigged. I am going to put in my two cards. I guarantee it's going to be Shawn Michaels or Dean Ambrose. But I'm going to proc. He's going to proc as well. It's going to be compatible tag. We should win this one. Both cards are proc'd. 
Yes, we've won it. Thank God. So we're actually going to get the win against Bailey. You have no idea how rare that is. Because he is the jammiest gear ever. I love that Ziggler card, by the way. Absolutely awesome. So that's going to be our eighth win to two losses. Uh, no draws, because draws are almost impossible to come by. I've only ever got to 3-2 uh, once in a draw situation. Uh, where I've actually had to... Uh, play a, like a playoff match. I've only ever actually had it once, which I believe was the developer's intention. Another title match. Um, hardly any poor, decent pause in this PCC. Uh, we got to go back to Monty this time. Um, and the only time I pulled away from Monty, Jonathan, is just to give Bailey a chance on there. So he's got 1 1. Monty's not won once, uh, got won once against me. Uh, Jonathan has won once against me, which is the reason we've got the 8 2. So we're going to have a Diva Speed match. I don't really think there's much point in me doing this. So you know what? I'm just going to let it go. Um, oh, fuck. I would have won that as well. Um, I screwed that one up, guys. Um, Diva Charisma match. I'm going to win it, but it's lucky. Um, I'm going to put his speed in, and he's procced. So that is my own fault. I actually lost that because of stupidity. So I actually am going to take that loss. Um, I, per I thought his Divas would be far better in terms of giving me a problem with the speed, so I didn't put in the speed match on there. But his Ronins finally came up against, up against my uh, my uh, Randy Orton, which obviously helps him and is good for him. Uh, just as we pull a Randy Orton common. Uh, Jonathan's going to show up this time. Hopefully we're not going to make the same mistake. Um, I know with Jonathan that I have no chance in a speed match with a Diva, but I've got every chance in power and charisma, and sometimes toughness, I think, with certain, uh, certain of the Divas. Uh, so it's going to pop up, first of all, with a power and toughness match. So I'm going to see if we can win with Ryback, see if we can get the proc of Ryback. We're not going to get it, so we're going to lose the first match against Mark Henry. And he's going to use his support card as well, which is awesome. We've already used ours. Uh, toughness and charisma, I am going to pick... Uh, but, but See, this is, the, this is the tough one. I'm going to pick Rock because he's got the best possibility. He's proc there, which means it's going to be a win. Thankfully, we're just going to get a people's elbow in right there. And uh, we've got another toughest match. So I'm going to use Randy Orton for this one. But it's going to be a loss because he's going to use Keith Kofi Kingston. So we're now up to four losses. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, okay, so... Let's get to the next match right now. Um, there's not there's no way around. Okay, so we have the next one is going to be against Bailey again. Um, that's the one thing I'm missing. I do have a Jack Swagger that's building its way up. Um, but yeah, I am seriously missing that toughness card. That card that can just give me a, a straight away. I'd love a Kofi Kingston. That'd be fantastic. Or a Brock Lesnar. Um, I don't have. I think I actually have both of those singles in rare. I'm going to have a toughest match. I'm going to have to stick in Ryback as hopefully he procs, which he does. Um, so does Dean Ambrose. He hasn't procs, but he's, he procs in toughest and speed. So thankfully, it's going to be a win. Ryback is going to proc and actually going to come through for the first time. Thank you for showing up finally. A speed match against... Uh, this is going to be a win for Randy Orton against his HBK. And we're going to have another win because we're going to get another proc. So that is going to be 9-4 against the decks from hell. The Nightmare decks are available in Legendary++ plus plus only. These are the people you play at the top of the game right now in PCC. So we are going to have... Uh, that's There we go. That's our next pick. <laughs> Troll Triple H and Troll Seth Rollins. Nice. I love that little image of Triple H. Uh, Bailey again is going to show up. So, again, are we going to be able to get a win? Or is this going to be another one of those times where he procs all the time? Because this is just what Bailey does. Uh, let's get into the match. And we're going to show up a power and Christmas match. That this falls into the hands of The Rock. But I'm kind of thinking I should save them because their stats overall stats are better. Uh, I am thinking I'm going to go with Triple H for this one. Power and Charisma. Oh, what a decision. What a decision, guys. What a decision. It's going to be a great win with a pedigree for Triple H. Although I do like the pedigree that uh, Seth Rollins uses a lot better. Um, I'm going to put in the um, speed for Power and Speed. Hopefully he doesn't proc. He does. Ah, oh, this could be an absolute nightmare. It's going to ask for a tag next, isn't it? I guarantee it's going to ask for a tag. No, it's going to ask for a toughness. Uh, what happens next? Who knows? Oh, he's going to beat it by four stats. Oh, God. 
Ah, I lost anyway. It made no difference. I lost anyway, but I lost by four stats there. That's insane. Uh, we're going to get the crappy Stardust from the PCC. Monty's up next. Um, we had a pretty good result. Uh, sorry, um, current uh, roll against Monty. So that's going to potentially play in our favor here. We need to get these up, and I'm going to try and get to 15 wins. If we can get to 15 wins, then I'll be really happy. I'm going to chuck in right back in Triple H, uh, first of all. Um, that's still going to be enough, I think, to win. Yes, it is, because the overall stats are better. So that's going to be a win for Triple H and Ryback. Um, you never would have thought I would have heard those two names together. Um, let's use the Rock for speed and charisma. It's going to be a win because Brock there, so doesn't Brock in those. Although, again, I'm surprised another card hasn't been pulled up. Toughness, it's going to be the Rock because he doesn't have his third, fourth legendary pro. Epic Rock, easy win. So, thank you very much. We've got five wins to go, guys. We're going to try and get 15 wins against the best decks in the game without losing uh, 10 times. So let's try now. So Mark, Henry, and Fernando are my pools there. Pretty terrible. But then again, the whole PCC has been terrible for pools. Uh, we've moved up a rank, I think, actually to 30. Uh, we've got Monty again. Um, I'm going to give someone else a try because obviously I want to make sure this is as tough as possible. Um, so we're going to see if we can get Jonathan or Bailey to show up. There's Jonathan. Okay, so Jonathan's going to pop up now. This is going to be interesting. Can we keep... Uh, winning or are we going to have continuous problems with just the, the, the how good his deck is uh, we have a power match which I'm going to throw out Triple H into this one and it's going to be no proc which means his ultimate warrior is going to win but it's one of his best cards so thankfully that is now over and done with we have a speed match I think I should win this because he doesn't proc in speed so, and we've got a compatible tag there so yes, we're going to win in this one. This next one's going to be important because this is now going to be whether we win this match or whether we lose it. So Jonathan versus oh my God, BBQ. Charisma match. Let's choose the rock. And he's not going to proc, which means he's going to win, which means we're going to have our 11th win. Fantastic. Awesome. So the rock wins it. this one for me and the team. God, this is getting tense. Four more wins, guys. Four more wins, but I cannot lose another five times. So the goal's getting closer. The goal is getting there. Um, okay, so let's see what we can do. Bailey. Arguably my hardest competition. Arguably my hardest competition. Although Jonathan's deck is better, Bailey seems to proc her head off a lot more. The lucky sod. Okay, so let's get into the next game. Bailey. Charisma match with the rock. Let's see if we can get it. No proc, so that means the rock is going to win. Awesome. Um, Diva Charisma. Uh, this is going to be tough. He's proc'd. So did Naomi, though. No, he didn't. Because, so that's going to be a loss. Diva loss. Okay, so 1 1. Speed match. Who's going to get picked? I guarantee you it's a Dean Ambrose of a proc. Dean Ambrose of a proc. No proc. Dean Ambrose, Randy Orton wins. Fantastic. That's going to be another win. That is 12 wins now. So we are getting close towards our target of getting 15 wins. Oh, this is this is this is great. Oh, this is this is the reason why I play this game as much. It's to play against these top decks and win. Trust me, I'm not always this lucky with uh, pulls and uh, procs of the people who are, are selected in the games. So okay, a rare trash can. Woo! Awesome. Not just give me an epic support or legendary support, please. Uh, Bailey's going to show up again, so I'm going to go up against him again because, again, he is technically my hardest opponent. And the next two, I'm going to try and get Monty and Jonathan um, if I can get them as wins. But again, who knows? Um, so we're moving to the first game. Let's see if we can determine who. It's going to be speed. This is going to be Shawn Michaels. This is going to be uh, Dean Ambrose. I'm going to throw it around the Orton. See what happens. He's going to get a proc, which means I'm going to lose. That's my first match lost. With not the sweet chin music, but the uh, teardrop. Is it teardrop suplex? Is that correct? Um, this is tough because I think The Rock beats him in uh, Dean Ambrose in speed based on his stats. But if he procs, I'm at it's over. Oh no, he loses to him in proof points. So that's a loss. We've got down to six losses now. This is incredible. Ah, Not that it would have mattered because we would have lost anyway. But 
Okay, so 3 0 to Bailey. We've just been spanked royally by Bailey. And it's Proc City with Shawn Michaels. Oh, God, this is intense. Okay, so we are now moving into the final few games. We've got a, a, less than 10 games remaining on this. We have Monty Sharp now. So that says that actually, I think Bailey and Jonathan are tied for wins against. No. Uh, Bailey's beating Jonathan and wins at the moment against my deck. Um, so toughness. Um, this one's a complete random because it could be anyone. It's got, it's got a hope that he procs. He doesn't proc, so it's going to be a loss. I've used my support, so I'm in a bit of a difficult situation at the moment. But John Cena's out, so if a charisma card is played, like this one here, it's going to be an instant win. No problem whatsoever. I'm now just concerned that they're going to call the tag match next. And I guarantee you it's going to be called. No, it's going to be a Diva Speed match. And this is going to be interesting. It's no stat call, so it's a win. Yes. We are 13 wins, unlucky for some. Let's hope that doesn't ever mean that we get another four losses because I want to win this challenge. So can we get to 15 games? We've got two games remaining. Two wins. Come on. A rare Jimmy Uso. Nice. I actually pulled him, yeah. Jonathan's now showing up. And Munty was a plus six. What's going on? I have actually seen it beforehand where I actually had Bailey, Munty, and Jonathan. Two, six, ten. And it's just that, oh, what did you do? Okay, so we have now got Power and Charisma. I'm going to send out Triple H. Triple H is going to win. Fantastic. Toughness. Um, I'm going to keep the support back just in case. And I'm going to send out Ryback. No proc. But it's okay. It's okay. We're in control at the moment. Power and Speed. You're gonna have to be. No, he's gonna proc. No, Jonathan. Damn it. So that is actually a seventh loss. Ah, this <laughs> is getting tight. We're three losses away from failing and two wins away from winning. Ah, this is getting tight, guys. This is getting tight. Um, okay. So we're gonna get one pick there. We're gonna see if we can get back into this with Jonathan again. God, he's now tied with Bailey for the most wins against me. Oh, dear. So, let's see what we can do now. Okay, so Charisma. I'm going to send out the Rock. It's going to be a good one. It's a win. It's a win. It's fine. It's a win. Uh, toughness and Charisma. So, I'm going to throw out a Toughness card here. Hopefully, there's no procs on their side. Which means it's a win for us, surely. Because of attack. Come on. Yeah, so we're going to get a win. So we are one away from getting that challenge. So I'm going to send out Randy Orton. It's probably going to be a loss because of his proc of Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston is actually a really good card. Uh, compared to some of the other cards, like Jack Swagger, he is actually really impressive. Uh, so, especially for being quite low on the ratings. So there we go. So we're up to rank 29 now. Uh, with uh, PCC, the last PCC just random gold dust card in common. Okay, so potentially this could be our last match. We've got Bailey as our last match. <sighs> Let's see, because again, this could be him tying up, and then we've got uh, we're down to one and two. Whether it be one win or two losses to fail the challenge. So let's, let's. I so hope we can win this. He's got knock our tag team. This is where tag teams need to come into into for me. So I'm going to send out Triple H. My Triple H versus Triple H. He's going to proc. No. It's proc Bailey. God damn it. He's going to pedigree me as well. Just to rub it in. Toughest and speed. He's going to win. Okay, wait. Toughest and charisma. I don't think any of his. He's got toughest and speed for Dean Ambrose. He's got Charisma proc for you, Shawn Michaels. So this is going to be complete random. Let's just choose The Rock. It's going to be a win. Yes, we won. 15 wins to 7 losses. It wasn't, a cake, it wasn't a cakewalk. It was awesome, but that is fantastic. So we have gone through hell and we have come out without a scratch. We did get a couple of knocks on the way, but we got no damage. 
15 to 7 against the best decks currently in WWE Supercard. That's pretty freaking awesome. Um, this has been Super Zombie God BBQ, and we are going to be having a live stream later, which um, I'm going to put in the details in the description below. But a video will be up later on to explain to finalize the first PCC. And I'm hoping to have this kind of video every PCC going forward with a challenge 15 wins to 10 losses to try and make sure we can get uh, past every challenge that we can. But this has been Super Zombie God BBQ, and uh, after that, we all need to Zoe leave. Wow, that's fantastic. Awesome video.